Good morning everyone, my name is Christian from Two Headed Wolf Gaming and welcome back to Shadowrun Returns. Without further ado, let's start talking to these people. Let's start to talking with Coyote first. Coyote is wiping down the bar. She doesn't stop when you approach, keeps her eyes on her work. Hey. Mm. Hey, you okay? Yep, fine. Listen, Wolf. I don't want to talk about what happened with Gino, okay? What's done is done. Gino's dead, I'm alive, and that's all there is to it. It's the balance, right? Nothing more to do or say. I'm gonna be looking for work. Your kind of work. So if something comes up, keep me in mind. I will. Okay, I gotta do this now. The afternoon checklist isn't going to finish itself. Let's see, Mr. Clue. Glad to see you well, Wolf. Mm. You too, Mr. Clue. What's the state of the troops? Combat ready, perhaps more so than usual. Tensions are up. Word got around about the last Reaper killing and people aren't feeling safe. And when people feel unsafe, they either go to ground or they huddle up. You notice how empty the streets are these days? That's cause everyone either is locked in their squats, holed up in a place like this, or seeking refuge in the nearest Universal Brotherhood chapter house. Safety in numbers, Chumur. Now, not that we need numbers. I got it covered. Hmm. All I ever needed was one. Later, bud. Later. We'll talk to Mr. Delilah here. Let's see, what does he want? If you are talking to me, there is business to transact. Am I right? It's always business with me. I appreciate this about you. Street talk is that you are a dangerous individual. What can I do for you, dangerous individual? I need to put a crew together. You got a scratch or you planning to pay me out of your earnings? Mm. How much is this gonna cost me? Well, for your speed, hired help will run about 1200 a head. If you start talking on tougher jobs, well, the more experienced the runner, the higher the rates. Can I pay the runners up front? Let's see. We have 5,000. If we need three people, that would be 3,600, right? So we do have the cash. Let's see. Oh, we cannot spend karma in conversation. Okay. Mm, I'll pay a percentage of our... I can pay the runners up front. In this situation, I am not sure there will be any money in the end. Excellent. We agree on terms. I've got some runners on call if you've got any special requests. Yeah. Oh, well, let's say I've got some stuff to take care of first. Because I want to go underground and then we'll come back up. To put the crew together. Uh, let's check this area out. And this is our stash. So, do we need anything else in our stash? Like, do we need to... We have a grenade. We have some med kits. I should really buy one of those equipments that revive our team. So let's go to her. Dr. Castle glances up only briefly from the charts. Her impish friend on the other hand drags you every moment. Okay, you live to see another day, have you? Well, that still remains to be seen. You've got some work to do. So long as you end up in the end, here in the end and not some organ grinder stable, I'm satisfied. Granted, a repeat customer means a person cur counting, courting, courting death more often than any other doctor should condone. But I don't suppose I can dissuade you from the, your course of action. Sorry, Jack. Job's not done. Very well. Then let's talk about how I can help you ensure you make it back alive in one piece. Mm, let's see medical supplies. And here we will take one of these. Good. Everything else is pretty expensive, so I don't want to stay around for too long. Mm, can we talk to her? Let's see. 
How'd you fall in this operation? Anyway, Dr. Cass pauses in her work, settling down her tablet and appearing to grow introspective. I suppose you might expect that I fall from grace. Certainly that is the thing in with many of my peers. If not that, you might think that I was compelled to do this because a friend or a family member became a shadow runner and I hurried to their assistance one fateful night. But the reality is that I grew up knowing this is what I would do with my life. My parents were both shadow runners and very successful ones at that. So successful that they, try, they retired in a very large house and raised a litter of kids who grew up hearing the impossible tales of their parents' younger years. Of course, we were expressly forbidden to follow in their footsteps. We were all expected to attend university and take full advantage of the opportunities they had fought for so hard to give us. So mom and dad were proud to see me pursuing a medical degree and they had only minor reservations about me applying that expertise to the treatment of shadow runners. After all, they never would have survived long enough to meet and fall in love if not for the ministration of several street dogs along the way. So I suppose you could say I was born into the life after a fashion. She picks up her tablet and resumes her work. Is there anything else I can help you with? Well, no. Well, let's talk to these guys. Aliernon the Welcome, fellow child of a six sword. What can I help you with today? Tell me about yourself, Alierno. My story is not so different from those who have come before. I am but a merchant. Tough one who wears... Uh, whose wares are far more mundane. I came here from Tirtiternire four years ago after the governor of Seattle signed an exclusive trade agreement with the Council of Princes. And so, as the flow of magic goods came to pass through these city's ports, so have I. At times I miss the tear, but as unlikely as it may sound, this new home of mine is far more interesting. Um, do they have, like, is there any request here? Need a fresh set of clothes? No. I'm guessing... Tell me a little bit more about yourself, Buster. Where were you military? After a fashion, yes, sir. Sergeant in the 31st California Militia. It's no longer a recognized unit, but there are those who would say we never were. But someone had to stand up to Tyr, and it fell to us. Tyr Tangire? Yes, sir. I was a call free when the elves came marching down from the north in the 36th. After the UCAS pulled their support, we had little in the ways of an organized defense. But what we did was stockpile weapons and ammo down to Auckland. The locals in NoCal held out long enough for us to bring the heat. And I tell you, all the magic hoo-ha in the world ain't enough to stop a V-11 hot rock from cracking your dome. We drove them elves all the way back to Eureka. Would have pushed them all the way back to Portland too, but some ninny down south reached out to the Japanese for aid and got our own version of Normandy for the trouble. Things went to hell in a handbasket from there. Don't much like to talk about those later days, so let's take talk guns instead. Mm -hmm. We'll talk to you. Let's see the inventory. I would like to buy something from him. Maybe one of these ESPSs would be good. We need a 3600 for the mm, Shadow Runners for the Assassins, right? Ah, here is how we can view stash sell items. Let's sell this one. We'll sell this early version of the. Uh, shall we keep this? No, this is just for battles. So we'll sell it like this. And let's get ourselves create an attacker expert system program, an assassin, an exploder, or a shield. Let's take an attacker. Good. Well, that's about it. Now we set off on the mission. One quick note before moving forward, like this is one of my new series and um, what my plan has been, like looking over the analytics even though it's quite new, 
is that except for the Fronts of Britannia and Crusader Kings 3, for Graveyard Keeper and some of the other City Builders game I played in the past, and even for this, there aren't that many views during the weekend, although I'm a small channel. So looking at the numbers, it feels like people have been looking at these episodes Monday to Friday and not so much during the weekend. They do it um, in a sense like they catch up. And I think what I want to do going forward is that I will post these episodes from Monday to Friday um, and keep it at that and have the weekend free to do other projects or think of other ideas to plan things out. So if you have any feedback, whether you support this idea or you are against it, do leave, let me know, either via the comments, via the email or um, however you feel it's more comfortable for you. I do like uh, and will take into consideration any feedback I receive. So that's about it. Let's talk to Mr. Delilah. Let's see the crew. Okay, so in this situation, we have her. She's a shaman. Increase offended targets AP by one for two rounds. That's good. That's pretty. I mean, that's powerful. That's another action there. So she's mostly magic. Summons a force to natural element. The fetish is consumed when used. And we can add a few other runners. Ooh, we have a bunch of them. Strength of mind is an important is important as strength of body. That's an adept's first lesson. Act, do not react. Bend like the willow, block like the water, move with purpose. So we, we are a Decker, we have a Shaman with us, a Rieger, good from afar as well as up close in drones, all about firepower and damage. Would like a Samurai, I believe. Nephilim Network? So this guy, these are the fixer's contacts, which have, which have lower prices in a way. And then there's a Nephilim network. But I don't see, oh, maybe she's working now, so we can't bring her with us. Because I can't see Coyote here. Okay, well... We'll need two more runners. I would like to have a samurai. He's not afraid to get, of getting cut to get the job done. Blood makes him happy, even his own. The art of killing is about fearlessness. It doesn't hurt to have more firepower as well. Or a orc. Summoning is more than waving hands in the air. Oh, this is a shaman already. So we'll take a, one of these samurais. This guy is a melee one with the machete and she is with guns the favorite shotgun of Corpsec worldwide okay let's bring her and I would like one more a rigor could be good a mage mage has heal wounds and armor and a few other things we can armor on them these riggers they have a few drones the shamans we already have a shaman so on this one we won't be bring another adept yeah it's about self buffs so let's bring the one who has healing cool well let's confirm Hire these runners to meet Shannon at the NTSB warehouse. Yes. Return to the docks. You return to the docks to meet Shannon Half Sky. Although the late the Reaper's latest victim was her brother, but Shannon appears cool and professional. A consummate runner by birth, if not by trade. She'll get the job done, and hopefully one of the half spirits in this place can point you towards the Reaper. Dealing with spirits can be tricky business. But when they deliver, it's pure platinum. One doesn't have to be an Amerindian shaman to summon and control spirits. Anyone with magic talent can do it. 
but Shannon seems to have a particular connection to the spirit world. As you approach the gate, you know something's not right. The dog's already strange and uncomfortable at night, trigger the need for a caution. Then you see it, the guards are missing and the gate's been smashed in. Ooh. Uh, I guess I'm gonna throw one of these in here. Okay, she has a healing aid. She has a healing kit. He does not have a healing kit. So I would like to throw it myself. Though he has healing as a spell. So we'll keep it on us. Confirm. You have karma available to improve your character attribute and skill. Open karma screen? Yes. Let's see. Now on quickness... Used to calculate chance to hit in ranged combat. Okay, reduces the chance to being hit by enemies via physical attacks. Additional weapon slot. Overwatch. Okay, Overwatch could be really useful. Strength. Now, is there anything here that provides us with more AP? We can bring intelligence, grants a bonus to hit points recovered when using a medkit. Could go with this as well. And the enemy HP being visible. Increase the power of the Decker's expert programs. Willpower... Yeah, the rest we don't really care for that much. New etiquette. I guess we'll wait for one more point in charisma. We'll leave it at this. About time you showed up. Looks like we weren't the only ones who wanted to take advantage of the situation. A bunch of mercs have blocked down the area. I don't think they're here with for us though. I guess is there something worth a bit of coin left in the warehouse? Mm. Mm, shouldn't be much of a problem. Well, it was for Lone Star. They're all dead. Hope you're better shot than they were. Okay, we need to keep Shannon alive. Let's see, what are the chances that we don't have to hide? You there! The block is off limits. There's a... We've got a gas leak on the docks here. No loitering. This guy doesn't look like one of the hired mercenaries. Hey, are you even listening? Get out of here. Uh, I'm not leaving, I'm not here for you, just leave me, okay? Really, guy? They aren't paying you enough, especially not once Lone Star sends a response team. Frag, I knew she was lying. Told me they jammed all the Lone Star's challenge. Damn it, I'm out. Okay, so we didn't have to engage there. They took out some of the guards. Let's try to check the area out before moving forward. I see a guy up there. Okay. This guy has a shotgun here. Do we want to stay exposed? I think I do want to kill this guy as quickly as we can. So they caught us. Uh, th those were good hits there. Good. So that guy's down. And I will move her up. Get a bit of cover, probably. Let's come here. With this guy, he is our mage, right? So we can go here, 
Line of sight is blocked. Okay. Guess I have to move up as well. We have another Shadow Runner there, one here. And the problem is, I guess if I go here, there's no line on si of sight on me. But I could be doing this. come here shoot at this nice so that remains with him let's see can I do one of these nice nice mm, I think I will keep him still for now mana Mana Ball, a magical explosion that ignores normal armor and targets willpower. Armor plus one armor last two turns. Aim. I guess we'll leave this as it is, end the turn. Can I do anything special? No, just mark target. And let's try to do one of these. Okay, now with her. Thing is, they're out flank right now. Ooh, this. They have a lot of life. I didn't think about it before, but... Darn. Oof. Okay, well... Done with this guy. As soon as the last Merc hits the ground, the dogs have become eerily silent. Let's collect what she dropped. Karma gain. NTSB warehouse key. Okay, so we now have enough karma here to go for the next level of charisma. Let's start with that. Etiquette is about knowing how to behave in various social situations. Oh, so this is etiquette. So we. That's why I had to pick two in the beginning. Shall we go security? Or maybe corporate? Know how to speak with corporates? Gang, socialite. You know what? We'll stay with the security. And for the moment... Yeah, I think that's about it. Confirm. Let's check things out. Is there anything else? No, there's nothing else here. So let's go inside the building. Are you sure you want to transition? Yes. You head inside the darkened warehouse with Shannon. Her eyes have that far off gaze associated with looking into an astral plane. When the world changed, the Native American tribes made a good resurgence as well, demanding a place in the world. They got it. A Salish Seed Council now represents 8.6 million Amerindians across the multitude of tribes. Salish, Makah, Sin Sincerach, and others. They've adapted to the awakening better than other nations thanks to a deeper connection to the world, both physical and spiritual. You can see the connection alive in Shannon now. You notice the shift in her focus as she returns to the present. She knows you. She can sense the spirits in this place. Now we just need to find them. Find the data or we're dead meat. Optional, find the pay data the runners are after. Keep Shannon alive, defeat the runner crew. Okay, well. We will all need cover. 
So first of all, I will be moving him here. And we'll do some normal shots. Like so. Okay, with Shannon Half Sky. Increase a friendly target's AP. This will consume her entire round. So first of all, what I need to do is get here. And we'll shoot. With the orc. I am going to bring her up. And there's only the mage left. Good. Okay, these guys have gathered together. I am thinking of whether to use one of these. Like, look at that. We can hit here, or I could throw on this side. So that will take 4 points of life probably, or no, it's the amount of enemies in range, yeah, amount of enemies in range. Yeah, let's do it here, okay, that's one. But oh, I, I could do this. Troll Shadow Runner or an Adept. Uh, let's shoot at this guy. Okay, that was pretty good. Aim shot. No, let's just do this. And then we'll shoot it at this troll. Um, how about we put on some armor on her? And I will just shoot. Ooh. Okay. This guy doesn't or this girl doesn't seem to be the best. And her getting so close to us, it's not the best for her. Okay, hopefully this turn will take her out. Let's see, maybe another... Heal could be good. Heal all of the damage from the most recent attacks. Okay, let's heal her. And then maybe we can do... We'll just shoot the gun. Ah, we missed there. We're gonna take some shots here from behind. No cover, well, yeah. Shoot at her first, good. Now let's try to mark one of the enemies. And I think I wanna aim at the orc with her. Magic bolt here. Four damage. Mm. Good. And now with you, we'll shoot with the gun. Go the same route. Okay, a bit of damage. He... I'm guessing he's cowering in fear. Or he's... Not fully sure how this works, but we're gonna try to get him. 
now. Nice. So, I think we might have gotten everyone. Let's try another heal here. For myself. Now, there should be like one more enemy, maybe it's in a different room. I am guessing so. I'm guessing we cannot open that door. Okay, let's go this way. Let's position everybody close to that. Let's see. Do we see anybody? Not here. So that's a no. Where would they be? In these other areas? Ah, there they are. So, we can't go through there. We might have line of sight if we go by the window. But I guess we need to go this way. Hmm. Hopefully. Oh, I guess we don't have to take them in order. Like we can change between them at any point. Ah. Okay, that is cooler. For some reason I thought you'd be obligated to move in a certain order, but apparently not. That is really good to know. Let's confirm, let's reload our weapons. Be prepared. So with her, I'm gonna reload her pistol. We're gonna do a quick end turn here. And let's slowly move forward. Yep, like that and like this. And we'll bring the other one. Here. And the turn. Okay, so they're getting close. Tried to shoot at us, but they were too far. That's a 32 chance to hit. Guess I'm gonna go get in closer. And I am going to apply another mark target here. But we missed. I'm gonna bring her closer. Let's see, maybe one of these magic bolts for 16 damage, that is really good. Move her up as well. Oh, any kind of a mana ball here? Let's try to do that. Okay, that's, so that's like a grenade. Works best when there together. Okay, another sword here with us. Ooh, nice. So we got lucky there and we took him out. Let's see, can I give Another HP here, another AP here. Good. That guy's down. So we're moving up. A 
Let's put some armor on her. And at the same time, let's put some armor on him. Okay, protected by armor, only 6 damage. Okay, so we de defeated the runners. RS Flight Recorder. Find the pay data the runners were after. Okay. Let's see, can I do anything in around here, around these areas? Is there anything to loot? No, it does not seem like there's anything to loot, so we'll come back here. Maybe I'm gonna explore these rooms before talking to her. But that was a fun, interesting mission. Pretty big warehouse, don't see anything else to loot. Okay, well let's talk to Shannon. I will now summon the spirit. The air grows cold and the spirits of the elf children coalesce from the vapor of your breath. The cherubic faces are burned and their lips quiver as if they were, are about to cry, but their eyes are round and vacant and they glare at you unblinkingly. We are the innocents who have perished in the flames, choking on smoke, as we fell from the sky crying for our mothers. You bring anchors to your world, which was once home to us, and we will use them to testify. Show the first magical flesh dish to the spirits. We no longer see the world of flesh seeker, only the essence and auras of living things. Words, though, words may echo through the veil, and sometimes, sometimes we may hear them. Last night this place was feared with a scream that went on and on, drawing us to it. It was a man crying out for witness as he died. So we became, we came to bear witness, but fled in terror before the malevolent spirit that profounded the man's remains. The spirit was other. It was not of this place, it had a twisted its way through the veil and through the dark to come here. When the other had gone and we returned to our vigil, we found two creatures of flesh. Once you call an elf, and suited by technology and able to channel the energies of the cosmos, yet his spirit was corrupted from within. He was dark and twisted, yet not unlike, not like the other, so we did not flee. The second we knew to be a troll, ribbons of his essence had been flayed from him, leaving cold machinery behind. His aura was the aura of one simple and confused. Between elf and troll lay the remains of a man whose sister now chants to us for justice. The elf... Let's see, search the spot where the victim's body was found. Okay. The elf, his essence remained in this place, where the man died. Something had been left behind. Small part of him, perhaps. Spirit, can you tell us any more? The spirit became faint, all but the one. Its eyes harden and it takes full measure of you, as if to commit everything about you to memory. No, we must not stay. With the spirits gone, the young shaman releases her hold on the magic and tether connection her to the other realm. She reels from the backlash or perhaps from the emotional toll of knowing her brother's last moment. They saw him. They were with him when he died. You are right. She takes a series of controlled breaths, only shuddering with the first few. No, but I will be. I don't want that for him. Not what those poor souls have endured. My brother deserves to be free. Uh, he will be once we find his clear. Yeah, the elf and the troll. We have to find that piece of the elf the spirit spoke of. It's our best hope for stopping this. Well, this is all the time that we have for today. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode as we continue. This journey into Shadowrun returns. I hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day everyone.